Okay, today um, Sage and I are in, are in the saddle shop here and um, making a knife sheath for his uh, modified buoy knife, camp knife or whatever. And uh, we made this in the bit and spur shop. Oh, um, after several settings. But today's the sheath day and what we've got here so far is a fold over sheath and uh, I'll show you a picture of the uh, different steps. But I punched the number four holes through just the uh, spacer in the top and then I uh, uh, came back and glued this together and then punched all the way through. That way it um, turns out much better on the bottom. And if you try to um, hand punch three layers, sometimes it's kind of warbly. So anyway, that's kind of a little update there. And probably have to uh, kind of wet this area or maybe the whole thing after we get this laced up. We're going to lace this up with uh, some chocolate brown kangaroo lace and then it will have a snap across there and we'll figure out how to, how, what, the length there. So anyway, this is uh, a belt, belt sheath or we're possibly going to do a, a strap so he can carry it on his back. So that's a little update right there. Thanks for watching. What are you doing? Uh, stitching up a knife sheet. Hand lacing. Hand lacing. And that is what kind of lace? A uh, kangaroo hide. Yep. So, not machine stitched, all hand laced, and a couple, about five copper rivets. Mm-hmm. All right, can you describe what you're doing now with the second pass here? I'm just doing the same thing as I did there, but on yep. the other side. Yep, and then at the bottom, we'll just split it and run it through itself a couple times to make a neat little finished deal, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, handmade knife sheath, handmade all the way. Ain't that right? Yep. What do you think about your sheath? I like it. Yep. Knife and sheath completed mm -hmm. today. Good deal. <laughs> Modified Jim Bowie is what we call it. <laughs>